it took a it, it took a lot of personal it was just a personal journey to look in the mirror and be happy with who I am and that's all that matters because people people will always critique you or say negative things about you but as long as you're comfortable with who you are man that's it there you go it doesn't matter fuck them <laughs> you know what I'm saying My action cam died in the middle of me filming, so I really hope I got enough footage. Aye, oh, let's go. Aye, oh, let's go. Aye, oh, let's go. Aye, oh, let's go. How's it feel, Sullivan, to be driving a drone? I just want to crash it. Oh, it's so, it's so sexy. So as Selvin is currently driving my drone, we're gonna go see War of the Planet of the Apes tonight, which I'm really excited. I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, tomorrow morning is the wedding, which I'm really excited about, and I'm gonna try and take you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to film a wedding, let you guys know everything, the details, and tomorrow morning we're also gonna train, so I'll let you guys know what I think of the War of the Planet of the Apes. That was a super long title. So, finish watching Planet of the Apes, or War of the Planet of the Apes. I'll give it a seven out of 10. Um, there are some flaws in the movie. I felt like the villain sucked, um, but that's just my opinion. If you guys watch it, comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. I thought it was all right. I didn't think it was great. I like the one before, but I just want to vent to you guys about something that I was thinking on my drive. And if you don't want to hear this emotional rant, you guys can skip to, I'll put it here, just skip to that part because that's when things get interesting. But a lot's been on my mind since this drive. Um, if you guys watched the last video, I discussed, you know, me moving, going to New Mexico for Mastax and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm super excited. I'm super blessed and excited for this opportunity. But it's just petrifying at the same time, you know. I'm going to be away from home for three weeks, and if you guys know, Eric is like one of my best friends, and Selvin is too. Like, my brothers mean everything to me, and so does my family. And I, when I went to college, guys, I lived at home. I've been living at home for all my life, and I know that sounds pathetic. I'm 25 years old, and I don't have my own place. I'm saving money to buy a place. Trust me, that's in the works. But, like, it's the longest that I've been away from my family for a while, and then once I come back, I'm literally here for a week, and then I fly out to Oklahoma, and then if this uh, MMA thing happens, I'm going to be spend the following week in New York, then I hit the road in Connecticut, and then I'm in Puerto Rico, and then I'm just traveling a lot, um, and it's just going to be like a lot of time away from home, and I just feel bad because I'm, I'm going to miss my family and my girlfriend, and Luna, of course, and it's just, you know, it's scary to like move away for a while, and I don't know how people move for college and move away like halfway around the world because me being away just for like a couple of weeks scares the crap out of me so i'm trying to play with the focus all right that should be fun but yeah i don't know i just get a lot of anxiety i think about being away or if i'm going to be alone and i know i'm going to be with uh, the guys from ass but you know it's scary at the same time because this is like a scary jump and like I feel like sick to my stomach thinking about it. It's just a lot of anxiety. Um, and I just want to tell you guys, like as fun and exciting this opportunity sounds, it's also really scary for me too. But it's midnight. Uh, I'm gonna get some rest. I'll see you guys in the morning. I have a lot of things to do. Bye. Take it back, take it way back, take it way way back to the first black man. Long ago, before the white man could paint the black man with a gun in his hand. Take it back, take it way back, take it way way back to the first white man. When they looked around and said, fuck it, I'ma steal this land Take it back, take it way back, take it way, way back to the first black man What's up guys, it's about 9.30 in the morning I've been up since about 7 a.m. Last night I went to bed around midnight So got a good night's sleep But this whole entire morning I've just been editing videos for a YouTube channel um, The video that you're watching right now should be out on Tuesday So Sunday's video, I'm working on it the day before So 
that's all finalized up. It's about 9.30. The wedding, uh, the photographer is getting there at 1 o'clock, but I want to get there around 12.30, so that means I have to leave around 12. I'm going to watch the video that you guys are going to watch on Sunday uh, to make sure it's perfect, ready to go for tomorrow, upload it that day, and then we're going to go to the gym, get a quick workout in, and then we have to get all the gear ready for the wedding. I'll show you guys what I'm using for this wedding. <laughs> So today's workout is majority, well actually the entire workout is accessories but really focusing on walking out, unracking, and holding deadlift at the top. So I'll kind of go into depth a little bit on each movement. The first one are walkouts. So what I'm doing is overloading the squat bar with a heavier weight that I would typically use and just literally walk it out, hold it for a couple seconds, and then unrack it. The purpose of this is that psychologically when you're at a meet, uh, you're typically holding a bar or if you're gonna go to PR, you're, it's a weight that you've never held before. This is kind of get your body used to and be comfortable with holding a heavier weight because believe it or not, when you like carry something that is way heavier than you've ever like carried in your life, it can be very intimidating and it can also throw you off. So uh, we're doing a couple of these, which is one of my favorite movements, you know, to help improve your squat. The second movement that I really like to incorporate is unracking and holding at the top of the bench press. The reason being is because if you are planning to compete at a powerlifting meet or if you ever compete at one, you know that some judges are really easy and some of them are just straight asses and you feel like you're holding it forever. So you just hold it at the top. Um, if you are just working out and whatnot, you know, you can bench whenever, but when you're given commands, you start whenever they say you want to start. So this really helps you uh, stay confident and also keep your uh, back really, really tight. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the deadlift rack holds because it's about 11 o'clock and I need to be at the place around 12.30, 12.45, and I want to have enough time to prep my gear and show you guys. So I think I'm just going to end it here and then we're going to go back to my place and show you guys what I'm using for equipment and we'll do the wedding. Woo! Alright guys, so sorry if this seems a little rushed, but I have to get going. This is all the stuff that I'm using for the wedding. That is my monopod, I think that's what it's called. That is the adapter that I have for my gimbal, my tripod, the sound thing, uh, my Sigma lens, my charger, my mics, um, my drone. This is all the gear that I'm using for today's wedding. So we're going to get over there, we're going to head out, and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video and maybe I'll be able to vlog in between. Update, I'm alive. Uh, filming a wedding is much harder than I had ever thought. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, you're running all over the place, you're trying to be quiet during the ceremony, but so far it's really, really good. Um, there's two other photographers there and they've been incredibly helpful in teaching me a few tricks and some things to keep in mind while filming a wedding. So uh, their guidance has been awesome. This is a great experience, but now I'm heading to Portsmouth, which is an hour and a half away. So I'm gonna drive up there. They want everyone to be there about 5.45, so I think a quick little baby poo before the rest of the night. This is long and hard. Ah, that's what she said. I 
you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. Well, I heard all the people saying. How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. Tell me. How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall. Get your back up off the wall. Well, I heard all the people saying. You guys haven't seen Luna on the channel in a while. She's sleeping. So it's 12.05 and I am so tired. It's been such a long day. I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the wedding footage. Uh, it's been a long day. Wedding is so much harder than it looks. It's just so draining and time consuming and you just have to be there at all times and you want to make sure you don't miss a moment. Uh, but it's definitely fun. It's definitely something I want to pursue in the future and something that I de definitely had fun at. I'm just really, really tired, so I'm going to go to bed, guys. Enjoy the video. Give it a like. I'm, I'm exhausted. Until next time, this is Marvin, and I'm out.